I was in a church basement, I believe, and there was a piano there. And I went over to that piano and I touched the piano and saw the sound that it made. That set me on my path to being a musician. It didn't happen for me. It didn't, didn't kind of connect until I touched and played an instrument. And this museum allows that to happen. I began my relationship uh, almost 15 years ago with the Museum of Making Music. I knew it was a very, very special place. A concert at the Museum of Making Music is a wonderful thing. It's an audience that's here to hear music and experience music. We can just grab anything we want to hear online, but it's not the same experience as being in the same room, feeling a vibration, and this allows that. It's a benefit for the audience and the musicians who perform here. And the audiences are wonderful. And when you have that audience that's really, really paying attention to what you're doing, you have to dig deep and give them even more. It, you, you might surprise yourself. Your creativity just grows based on an attentive, supportive audience. And that's what I always feel when I come here. Another beauty of this museum is the fact that it presents the whole musical ecosystem. The exhibits are not so final. They present possibilities in music, as opposed to, okay, this is the finished product. Everyone enjoy this. No, they present possibilities of music, and that's important. You know, there have been many, many exhibits that transcend style, not just instruments that you'd find in classical music or not only jazz instruments. Every aspect, that's the beauty of this museum. There's instruments that you can pick up and experience, and I'll do it. I, you know, I, I don't think, okay, I'm a pro, I can't do this. No, I'm, I'm just like that eight-year-old that goes through and has fun. Yeah, it is not a museum for musicians. It's for everybody, because music is a part of all of our lives. <laughs>